8.35 and we're leaving camp now. Day 63. Got 17 kilometers of uphill, which is way better than downhill in my opinion. We just came from the ranger station. Whole bunch of food. I think we should be okay now. It's two o'clock and we are having lunch now. I'm actually excited. It's couscous and salsa. It's very yummy. We went 12 kilometers already, so we're doing pretty good. Five more kilometers to the top. According to the dude, this uh, hiker that likes to comment a lot on far out, he says it's slush fest going up near pass. So it is gonna be an interesting time. confusing where to go. Can you find the trail? Right over there! It's definitely confusing. No idea where we're going. The trail's covered all with snow and everything. Definitely not the most fun. I'm gonna put my phone away because I know my history is recording and crossing creeks. It is 524 and we've made it to the top of Mirror Pass. And there it is, Mirror Cabin. day 64 and instead of waking up to the beautiful sunrise birds chirping the wind I woke up to my annoying brothers but going 28.5 kilometers it's kind of down but the terrain is not supposed to be that bad it's supposed to be beautiful so hopefully they will get better We're having lunch now. We did 12 kilometers. I'm having a rice and bean burrito. It's pretty good. But lots and lots of mosquitoes around here. Evolution Creek. Luckily it is a little snow yet, so there's nothing to worry about. We have survived Evolution Creek Crossing. It wasn't terrible, 
like if you want the smart way, which I didn't, it only go to your shins. But if you went my way, almost to my waist. But if you can notice, I'm a little bit wet. And that's because I went swimming in that creek. It was so nice. And refreshing, definitely something I needed today. We are probably not gonna make it to MTR tonight, but we are 11 kilometers away. So we'll have to see how far we can get. But it's five o'clock now. So three hours of sunlight. And we pretty much average around three and a half kilometers an hour. So that's not good. <laughs> A11, the end of day 64 for camping. A nice little campsite, but there are tracks that look pretty fresh too, so that is not going to be fun. We just stopped somewhere because everyone's tired and grumpy. So, five more kilometers until we get to MTR. Hopefully, there will be food in the hiker box, but it was a nice. For the most part day. It is 7.25, day 65. It is really cold out. I had my gloves and all my warm gear out. And then I decided to go away. So, how smart am I? But, five more kilometers to the ranch where we're gonna hopefully get some food in the hiker box. It says it's the best hiker box if you get that at the right time. So we're hoping we'll get there at the right time. We are now taking a little detour to MTR and hopefully we'll find some food in the hyper box. 9.40 and we're now heading in to the Mirror Trail Ranch. That took us two hours and 20 minutes. Follow the Hot Springs Trail. It's Independence Day. We got some 4th of July picnic at the Mirror Trail Ranch. There were some chips and pot. And then we're waiting on burgers. Definitely for the hike. We are now crossing the river to get to the hot springs. It was such a good burger at MTR. Really, really thankful. But now it's hot spring time. Here we are at the hot springs. It looks pretty nice. You can see the bubbles. Alex's shoe got stolen by the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're going into the hot springs. It's 12 04. We're leaving the hot springs. Definitely not like the uh, the ones back in the desert. Rustic, I'd say. They're kind of more like <laughs> marshes. Never would I ever think that I would be in a hot spring in the middle of a marsh. But. Once again, I'm proof girl. It's two o'clock and we're leaving MTR now. Very happy 4th of July. We got three hamburgers, chips and drinks. So that was a lot. And then it's like the best hiker box. Like for food wise, we were really running low on food. And if you stay there for six hours you'll soon get fully stocked back up it is really nice to know that will be definitely good for snacks for sure dinners still kind of iffy for me but I can just have ramen potatoes if needed but I will not be snack hungry anymore 2.35 and we made it out of the trail we're back onto the PCT. I was 
and very steep going up down there. I know it's really bad quality, but you can see a little pond and a ranch somehow. It's all the way we came up. So that's under an hour and we've already made that much ground. And as you can tell, it's pretty steep. And there's still more. Baby marmot in the rocks there. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I love baby marmots. They're so cute. And then there's mama marmot there. But baby marmot. It is 7.58. And the end of the day, I'm so long for. I'm having Nora cheddar broccoli. It's okay is food but i'm still pretty full from those burgers of selden pass we're up on the very top tonight we're over there i'm gonna sleep with no fly on hopefully we won't get wet and hopefully there's beautiful stars Oh! Go wrong! 